In this video, we're gonna tell you seven reasons why you should not get a boar doodle. A boar doodle is a border collie mixed with a poodle. It can be intelligent, can be a great dog, perfect size and great for your family. But in this video, we have seven reasons why the boar doodle may not be best for you. So let's get started with number one. The first reason why a boar doodle may not be best for you is because of the grooming requirements. The main reason people want doodles is because they don't shed. They're mixed with a poodle, but sometimes they do shed. And if they don't shed, then that means they're gonna need grooming because if they don't get groomed, they're gonna get matted. And matting makes them really uncomfortable and can be painful. And the only way to fix that is to completely shave your dog. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you're constantly brushing them, grooming them, taking them to the groomers to get cuts. And it's a full-time job and it's something you need to be aware of. Yes, the no shedding is great but it's up to you as the owner to make sure they don't get tangled get matted because they don't shed they have normal hair almost like humans so their hair will grow and grow so it's up to you as the owner to make sure that their coat is groomed well because it doesn't take long for this hair to get out of control and can be very painful for the dog as well so it's something to be aware of if you're going to get any doodle but especially a boar doodle the number two reason why a boar doodle may not be best for you is because they have sensitive stomachs. It's been found that doodles have sensitive stomachs. They go to the bathroom when they're not supposed to. Sometimes they'll throw up unexpectedly. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that they're fed. Make sure that they're fed high quality food and food that will be good for them and for their diet and their hair and their bodies and minds. This is an incredibly smart dog that won't do well on cheap food. They need good, high quality food, and it'll be up to you as the owner to provide that. If you don't wanna do this, don't have the money or the resources, then maybe a boar doodle isn't best for you because this dog needs high quality food in order to counteract their sensitive stomachs. The number three reason why a boar doodle may not be best for you is because of their exercise requirements. When you mix a border collie with a poodle, you have an active dog and one that needs to be outside running, playing and doing all kinds of things. So it'll be up to you as the owner to give them the exercise that they need. And this dog doesn't want to be just left out in the backyard. They want to go for hikes, walk, swim with you as the owner to build that bond and to be with them as much as possible. So if you don't have the time, the energy or the resources to give them the exercise they need, which is about an hour a day, then a boar doodle won't be a good dog for you because they'll be destructive inside the house, have a ton of pent up energy, and it just won't be good for you and your family. The number four reason why the boar doodle may not be best for you is because they need mental stimulation. This is an incredibly smart dog. When you mix a border collie with a poodle, you're looking at two of the top five most intelligent dog breeds in the world. So this dog is gonna be intelligent and they want a job to do. They wanna use their brain. They're incredibly smart. So they wanna do brain games. They wanna look for treats. They wanna go up and down stairs, have a job, do anything they can to exercise their brain and to please you. That's really what they're looking for and something they wanna do. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that you give them ways to really Really exercise their brains because it'll be very important for such a smart dog. The number five reason why a boar doodle may not be best for you is because they get separation anxiety. This dog does not like being left alone. Like we said before, they're incredibly smart. They know what's going on. So it'll be up to you to train them well and they know when you're leaving, they know that it's okay. And if you're also gone long periods of time, maybe this dog isn't best for you or make sure that you have someone around this dog and they're not left alone for long periods of time. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that somebody's around because if not, this dog can have separation anxiety, be destructive inside the home and just not be healthy overall. The number six reason why a boar doodle may not be best for you is because they need to be socialized. This dog is a great dog if they get socialized early. Get them around other animals, other dogs, cats, kids. Get them picked up, go in the car, take them to dog parks, go inside stores. If you get this dog socialized, they'll be an outstanding dog because like we keep saying, one of their main traits is how incredibly smart they are. So if you get them socialized and they're used to being around other animals and people, you should have no problem with this dog being an outstanding dog and one you don't have to worry about when they're around other people. And the last reason why a boar doodle may not be best for you is because you as the owner need to be calm assertive. Anytime you own a dog, especially a smart dog like the boar doodle, it's up to you to be calm, assertive, and be a great leader for this dog. 
If this is your first time owning a dog, maybe the Boar Doodle isn't the best dog for you because they have special requirements when it comes to their exercise and mental stimulation, and they need a strong leader. Otherwise, this is an active dog that can go crazy at times, but it'll be up to you as the owner to be calm, assertive, and give them good direction, socialize them early, get them plenty of exercise, and you should have no problems at all. We hope you've enjoyed this video about the Boar Doodle and whether or not it's right for you and your family, and we'll see you on the next one.